All right, I got the goods. Google asked us what big goals we had this year as part of their challenge relay. So Google gifted us these Pixelbook Go's to take on Wang Fu's next phase. Hey everyone, it's Philip and Benson, and uh, we just wanted to say hi. I know it's been a while since we've seen you here on this channel. With this year coming to a close, we've actually been spending a lot of time making plans for 2020. Now today is actually really exciting because you and I are heading out on the road to do some pretty important work. And now that we are equipped with our Pixelbook Go's, we're about to tackle two new projects that are pretty representative of where Wang Fu's headed in the immediate future. Where are you going, Phil? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Benson. <laughs> um, Taylor and I are heading out on a writer's retreat. A retreat? Yep. Why is that? Well, it's because we're working on a new script for a new movie. Like a, like a big one. And a feature film. You heard it here first. But believe it or not, it's been five years since our last movie, Everything Before Us. You watched that? Yep, five years ago. <laughs> you haven't watched it any time in between? Uh, wow. I, I watched the other stuff. And that's actually, honestly, like, yeah, we've been so busy with all the other stuff. Single by 30 came along, we did Yappy, Just Another Nice Guy Dating After College, and all these other sketches. And I realized we needed to just focus and prioritize making a new film. So that's why Taylor and I are packing up our Pixel Book Goes, heading out on the road, gonna focus, write a script for a new movie that we'll hopefully be shooting next year. The last time we were making a movie, that's actually when Taylor first started. We actually did go on a writing retreat for that movie as well. Mm. Um, Wes, Chris, and I went to Palm Springs. Oh, We locked yeah. ourselves in a hotel room and we watched The Notebook. We'll do the same thing, you promise? <laughs> Is this all we, we, get, we get to bring? Like, do you have like a suitcase? I have a bag, you don't have a bag? I'm, I'm only using this bag. You don't need to pack anything else. We're not gonna be changing, we're not gonna be showering, we're only gonna be riding. Now this new movie announcement is definitely exciting, but Benson, you're also going on a trip. Yes, so Wes, myself, and our good friend Julie Zahn are heading to Toronto. That's Canada. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we're heading out there for a digital short film festival, and we're also gonna shoot a brand new short film while we're there. We've never shot a short in Canada before, so that's pretty exciting. That's right, and we're bringing a Pixelbook Go with us to help us with production. So yeah, even though we're you know starting to work on a new movie, we're never gonna forget how important our sketches and short films are to you and this community here. Uh, not gonna lie, it is pretty challenging to balance our mainstream aspirations with the demands of this channel, but thankfully we have a great team who's up for the challenge, and also now we have great tools to help us along the way. So uh, we should get going, right? Yeah, when's your flight? Really soon. Hope he makes it. Hey Benson, uh, uh, start the travel montage. Okay. So the goal of a writing retreat is to get away from distractions so that you can focus on the script. We're not going that far, but just enough to feel disconnected from normal life. So when we first started in Wong Fu Productions, we never thought that traveling would be such a big part of the job, um, but we've been really fortunate that we have grown a following that is all around the world. It's actually really necessary for me to get away like this because daily life has so much going on that I'm always running around instead of working on the movie. So whether it's personal travel or speaking at universities, I feel like wherever we go, we're looking at life with the lens of storytelling. Uh, we're always questioning how can I share that through like a short film. Mixing up the projects like this really keeps us on our toes and ultimately helps us be better storytellers. So that's what's cool about this weekend is that it's literally just me, Wes, and a handful of friends that we invited to help us make this short. Uh, we have Julie and Jason coming in acting for us, and then we reached out to some friends out here in Toronto. We got about five or six of them that are, you know, lending their time, their, their equipment, and their vehicles to help us out. And because we're on the road, obviously we got to pack light. We just have a camera, a microphone. For this weekend, I just have this guy. It's been super light. I barely notice it when it's in my bag, but it's been awesome to just pull out. I can open up my spreadsheets and just go right to the schedules, the shot list, and start checking things off. All right, so we didn't just, you know, come out here with a completely blank piece of paper and we're just like, oh, hopefully an idea comes to us. I actually have a couple ideas that, you know, I've been thinking about for a while, and so that's kind of what the point of the writer's retreat is, is to hash out what these ideas could be. Yeah, so I've written out a lot of short films and sketches for the channel. This is a little different. We like to keep our sketches and shorts around five to 10 pages, but now we're writing around 90 to 100. So it's a lot more story to cover and a lot more moving pieces. One of the most common questions that I get is, you know, how do you write, Phil? Um, how do you approach a script? First of all, I like to know like where I'm going. Like if there's an overall message that I'm trying to hit, 
Um, but I actually like to think of my process almost like a, a flow chart. It gives me some kind of visual like destination and structure. You know, before the YouTube era, the way Wang Fu got the shorts out was to actually travel and physically take these videos to different colleges, to different cities, and it's just crazy that I get to be a part of this now. And to be able to travel and, and make a short film while we're traveling, that's just insane. What comes with the territory is you don't have a lot of resources, you don't have a lot of time, but you're constantly inspired by everything around you. So it's not just a change of scenery, but it's also a change of creative process too. It's very backwards. You're letting the city and the people that uh, you're exposed to speak to you versus going in with a set story, with a set script and everything kind of planned out. It's soaking it in and molding a story uh, little by little until it really feels right. So right now Taylor and I are on a Google Doc together um, of, you know, our preliminary thoughts of the idea. We're blurring this, right? Don't show them that stuff. Yeah, this is very valuable. <laughs> it's really important when multiple writers are collaborating on like an idea to visualize what each other is thinking about or what they want to say. We can see the changes that we want to make immediately. Why are you doing this? <laughs> what? It's dusty over here. What was there, dusty. What was there to, to do that for? For a shoot like this, we're spending almost our entire day on our feet, running around. There's not much time to just sit and relax and even just charge our equipment. So the battery life of the Pixelbook Go has been amazing. I can just pull it out of my bag. It'll have life and that gives us life. So we can even check in on what Wes and Benson are shooting right now in Toronto on Sheets. And it looks like they are really busy. <laughs> oh shit. They look a lot more busy than we are. Let's get to work, Taylor. Let's go. Let's, 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 turn this, let's go. Music montage. So whenever we try to do one of these short films when we're traveling, it's filled with challenges. But the thing is, to tell a good story, you don't really need too much. And that really is the spirit that Wong Fu embodies. And hopefully when we're done with this whole thing, people will watch it and be inspired to tell their own stories and create, you know, wherever they are and whatever they have. Thanks for watching that update, everyone. We hope it gave you guys a little bit of an insight into what Wong Fu's working on these days and what's important to us. Um, you know, over the years, we've gotten to experiment a lot with this channel, and we know that as fans, you want to see us continue reaching higher while also not forgetting our roots. The industry is completely different from when we first started, and that's actually really exciting to us. So in this next phase of Wong Fu, we're putting in the work to keep up with the mainstream players while also keeping this channel thriving for the next generation of creators. This is gonna be an uphill battle, but you know what? We're used to that. And with your support, shout out to our care holders especially, we know that this is the beginning of a really exciting journey that we look forward to sharing with y'all. Thank you again to the Google Pixelbook Go for giving us the tools to take that first step into our next phase. Hopefully it inspires you to set your own goals and take that first step into those challenges. I'm gonna pass on the challenge really now to filmmaker Dan Mace. You can check out his video and learn more about the Pixelbook Go in the links below. So check it out, we'll see you next time. Bye.